back. So, I was uh, kicking around the castle. And I have a zombie villager trapped in there. I also gave my little splash potion and a golden apple, so hopefully we should end up with a villager. Herbert Villager, once, uh, I'm going to name him once the, uh, I should probably name him now. Can I name him now? So we'll see if the name sticks. I don't know if the name sticks when he gets converted back. We'll try that. Got plenty of name tags. Ah, and I'm still missing. Yeah, I, there was a bit of excitement because he was outside. So trying to get him in here, I had to break these. And then he is actually two and a little bit, maybe two and a half tall. Because he couldn't get through just that. Although, well, he made it through there. He made it through there, but he couldn't make it through here until I broke the top off. Is that him? That can't be him. No, oh, that must be somebody else. It must have been somebody else. Okay. I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm trying to I want to make sure the baby zombies don't get in here to eat him. Let's play a light. Which is good. He kept his name. Oh, not too bad right off the bat. But that's a good thing. He kept his name. So now I just need to figure out what to do with them, because I don't think the rest of the castle is as safe. So I, so I don't think you can name these guys. Let's do this. Well, actually, it wasn't that hard to get to. Put it there. We're going to leave him there, so he shouldn't despawn. I really need to make this place monster-proof. But occasionally, I end up with a mob in here. So I want to... So I don't want to lose everybody. But I was headed off... I was going to head back to the village. So I have a project for today. So let's uh, head over there and get that started. Okay, so we are back at the village, and what I want to do is build a pumpkin patch. Since it's um, currently Halloween. I figure a pumpkin patch would be a good thing to build. Yeah, I had one pumpkin here, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Well, not so much advantage of it. I'm just going to build around it. As I couldn't think of any other place to put this. So just gonna kinda randomly seed things. Let's see like there. Got plenty of seeds. I got plenty of pumpkins to decorate it up with too. But we will uh, put those up. Then I have somewhat of a uh, surprise. Let's see. Well, we're going to have to wait for these to grow, which I can do off camera. He wouldn't. He didn't think I was going to. 
didn't stand around and make you watch it, did you? Well, maybe. Okay. Clear out some of these. And I let's see, put some more here, another one here, another one here. Here. Some of these only have one place to go. There. That should give me quite a bit. Then I have a special, special surprise. I think we'll go yeah if I put it right here put the flower there have a shovel no shovel so I'm gonna do this the hard way maybe yeah so right there Oh, don't push me to that hole, silly sheep. So what I want to do is widen this up. So I have a special part. So I've got these pistons. And I don't know if any of you have seen Charlie Brown. We do need the great pumpkin to arrive. So the way we're going to do that is through pistons. Yeah, so that'll work that way. This will go in this way. So what we need is this to go off first. Like this up, it's getting, probably getting dark. A couple repeaters here, and I have some redstone. So actually, the repeater can go here. Like that. And then this is going to tie into... I think I can do it out this way. Yeah. So I have a daylight sensor. I believe if I tested that right should turn this off when it comes daytime so I'll be hidden in there oh and then I need so the power will come through here Oh, and this needs to go up one. I hear you. Don't care, but I hear you. Okay, so that should extend it. High enough to push off all the way to the top, right? Yeah, so that'll be at the top. And I need to open this up. So 
So once it's off, I need an extra line of power. Go here, just long enough so this stays. Is that right? No. Oh, it needs to go from here. I need this to stay on, actually. This to stay on longer. So I need this one to go off first. So when the power gets cut. So I need to hit this first. Okay, so hit this first and this actually. So I got this all wrong. I didn't even need to do that. I didn't need to do this though. Let's clear this out. So what I really want is this. Right? This will go off. So this will come through here. Power this first. Power this second. When this goes off, this line will go off first, then this line will go second. I don't want to come back this way. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Took a little thinking. I uh, can't feed it back from this way because you get into a feedback loop where nothing works. So the power comes on, comes through here and turns this on immediately, then turns this on. And the fraction, you know, the one, two, three, four, what five ticks here. Give it enough time so it actually, actually this could be on even before this goes up. But. And then the trick is when it goes off, this almost goes off immediately, so it turns this off. This will stay on just the extra bit there. So it closes second. So open, close, like that. And we have it. Still, nighttime. Still about daytime. Let's see if the daytime sensor will work. That's going to be the ultimate trick. Daytime, I guess light, well I'd be okay. Uh, come on. I don't know what level it needs to be at. Flower. Let's do. Oh, it is sending out power. Maybe I need. that. Okay. So then I can... So then I can fill that in, like that. I can even... put another one of these here. There. Oh, oh, where am I at? Well, that's weird. Come on. Oh, wow. Did 
didn't like that at all. This one can grow in these two. Do that. And then the final coupe de gras, so to speak, is here. I know I couldn't get like a white sheet. Oh, actually, I don't know if this will work. Can I do this? There we go. So now the pumpkin, when it gets nighttime, he should pop up out of the pumpkin patch. And then he'll fly away and give the children all their treats and toys. Do you want... Oh, if I do... That should be enough light. I don't want a lot of light. But there should be enough light coming out from right there. Although the light may go away when the piston is gone. That should give us light through there. So backlight them. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is grow our pumpkins. Oops. Grow our pumpkins. And wait for daytime, I mean nighttime, to see what we get. Hopefully, I'll do what I think it should. So, okay, so let's, I will wait and I will be back at the next available dusk after all the pumpkins are there. Better go get some uh, bone meal, get all these started at least. And I think I'm going to put a gate here. <laughs> you know, it's Halloween when the monsters are all wearing masks. Come on. Oh! There are spiders. Okay. Let's get rid of these guys. So, it's been a little walkway this way. This. Just a little path through here. No, 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 go away. Bad shot, bad shot. All the pumpkins aren't grown yet, but you can see where he just sort of pops out. Pops out of the pumpkin patch. So we've got most of the pumpkins here. Maybe a couple more days of growth. Yeah. Should be uh, sure of the final product. Do this. Path here like that. Just come on. Okay. 
Okay, so I finished up. And it's almost nighttime. So here is the pumpkin patch. As you see, quite a few pumpkins growing in it. As the moon rises. Sunsets. If you're very careful, quiet you will see the great pumpkin rise in the middle of the pumpkin patch. So there you have it. The great pumpkin. Now he's going to deliver all the gifts to the good boys and girls of the world. And then when dawn shows up, he will uh, descend back into wherever the Great Pumpkin goes to. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a happy Halloween. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, it's awful quiet out here. Some woodlands here.